So, how do you feel about your picks? Honestly, I was, I mean, like I, like you guys see, uh, that's who I wanted <laughs> with the first pick. Uh, but fortunately, you know, they don't listen to me. They got Jaden Daniels. Um, he seems super excited to be here. He's really looking to, you know, get things started with us. And that's what, it, from a lot of the information that we heard after the fact is that Sam, uh, Adam Peters was all about him. They really tried to do their due diligence with some on some of the other quarterbacks, but from a pretty early stage in in the the you know research of these guys, this was their guy. So I'm good with that. I'm I'm putting all my you, you talked about it uh, last time we were on trusting the process. So I'm trusting him. I'm trusting that this is what he wanted to do. We went right in there and picked him up. So definitely, hey, I'm ready. Now we got a quarterback. I'm just hoping he's not RG three two point oh. But, you know, it remained to be seen. After that, number two pick was kind of surprising to me. Jazan Newton out of Illinois, uh, defensive tackle. We have Deron Payne. We have, um, uh, what's his name? Uh, Deron Payne, Johnson Allen, Fidelius Mathis that we drafted uh, two, three years ago. We have that position pretty set. And, in fact, that, that's one of the only few positions that I didn't think we really needed to get. But. With all the moves they made in free agency, this was a luxury pick. He was the best guy on the board, and this actually started a run on D tackles where I believe within like that five picks, there was like four D tackles taken between like 35 and like 41 or something like that. So, um, you know, hey, we'll, we'll see how this goes. I, again, it's a trust the process thing because this was not the move I would have made. I would have been one of the ones looking for an offensive tackle because that's definitely what we need. I don't know that I, I can trust Cornelius Lucas in that position. Or I, or I would have looked at a corner, like I was saying. I liked Cooper. I liked Kool-Aid. And that we got Joe Witt Jr. and um, and uh, as our defensive coordinator and Dan Quinn, who we saw what they did with Bland and, and Trayvon Diggs. I mean, yes, bring in a corner. Let them teach them up and let us have the top tier corners. But Cooper went to Philly, so we get to see him twice a year. Thank you. Um, after that, we traded from the 40th pick with Philly, I believe. And that so that pick was the one that they used to get Cooper. Then with 50 and 53, 50, we ended up getting uh, Mike Samerstill, the corner out of Michigan. Very intelligent corner. Wasn't one of the guys that was pushed up as much, but he's guy is a great character guy, great guy to have in house, great caliber. I watched a lot of him because I was watching a lot of Michigan this year um, because of Alex and you know Big Ten love or whatever. Oh, well, right, right. Oh, they're the best team in the country. <laughs> so and there was that part of me. There was that part of me that was like, hmm, Harbaugh gonna fall, all these suspensions. But shout out to him. It was guys like this that kept that team together. So I love getting this guy. Mm -hmm. The next one we got is the tight end, quality tight end. Uh, one of those guys that's a balance of great blocking, got good hands. Not really somebody that can separate, but he is somebody that could maneuver out there. So I love that. Your favorite pick, something we'll talk about a little bit later. I'm going to hold on that one. Um, <laughs> finally ended up getting, uh, we got, so before that we got a tackle, um, Brandon Coleman, not sure much about him. Then we went and got Jordan McGee, Dominique Hampton, and Javante John Baptiste, linebacker, safety, and defensive end, fifth round and later. So we had already proven that we had had the pieces kind of on defense. We didn't make a couple more pieces on defense, which would be interesting. But I was really, um, really, really excited to kind of see some of the positions. The Mike Sam were still uh, from, as a corner. I loved that one. The Ben Sinet, the tight end, obviously Jaden Daniels gives you an excitement that you, you know, you look forward to. It's like, oh, okay, let, let me just see what's all the hype about. Um, but the most intriguing pick for me <laughs> is Washington picking up uh, Luke McCaffrey out of Rice, who, for those of you that don't know, is the brother of <laughs> Christian, McCaffrey, Christian McCaffrey, somebody somebody who my partner has been talking about <laughs> all off season. 